Hey, mamas. Wish I came to you with better news. But in, in the past 24 hours, the YouTuber extraordinaire, um, singer of the hit single, What If I'm the Monster, has posted 120 TikToks. And I watched them all so I could report to you what's going on. Um, this episode, uh, trigger warning, this episode deals with Gabby Hanna. Um, and also a, a whole range of mental illnesses. So this is, this is what I, I gathered. This, these are the, the cliff notes from what has transpired in the past 24 hours. Um, she claims she died and came back to life as the son of God. Then she claims she is God. She claims she beat anxiety, depression, and dissociative, dissociative identity disorder. She said that trans people are her babies, and then 10 seconds later said that trans people are confused. She went on a rant on TikTok Live saying that black women are strong, and then followed that up by saying they are strong because black fathers leave and they have to raise the kids by themselves. Then she did an interpretive dance while describing how Native Americans were colonized. Um, she went on a rant about how Jed and Marbles needs to find God. Then um, a another TikTok she posted was her just staring into the camera and screaming, help me. Um, then she went into her backyard and screamed bloody murder. And then because of that, the LAPD, the Los Angeles Police Department, did a wellness check on her. And she didn't come to the door, but continued to post TikToks. Um, she says she's going to change the world, then said that everyone has dissociative identity disorder. Um then she said she doesn't care who you date as long as it's not children, and then said that children are forbidden fruit, which is a really just a really weird way to put that. Um, and then the and then scariest of all said that Imagine Dragons is blessed. This this is what it said, like word for word. Imagine Dragons is blessed! Exclamation mark slay, and and that was a, just a whole TikTok on its own. So, so while you're processing that in your brains, um, let's, let's clear out the obvious. She's clearly suffering from um, a bipolar manic episode. This has kind of been, it, it, if you have sat through the 120 TikToks as I have, it becomes very evident that that's probably what is going on right now. Listen, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist, but it doesn't take Bob the Builder to build a house. So I, I, I've i been around, I, I've, I've grown up around a lot of people who are bipolar. And basically what a manic episode kind of looks like is extreme, almost euphoria, just like about everything. Like when when people suffer from a manic episode, you know, they, it, it almost feels to them so I've been told that they are like, it, it's like you're discovering like this new awakening, like, like you've, you've like found God almost. And, and it's a very just, they, they feel enlightened. And judging by her TikToks, what she's been posting, that, that seems to be what is going on with Gabby Hanna. Now, obviously, a lot of the stuff she's saying right now is, you know, stepping on a lot of toes. And by toes, I mean entire races and gender identities. So obviously that has led to her been trending on Twitter. Now, the last time she posted was an hour ago. And I'm in Germany right now. And it is, it's it's 1227 p.m. here, but literally like I think 3 a.m. And she's still posting. She's just been firing these babies out nonstop for like 24 hours straight. And this is sad, like genuinely, it is so sad and disturbing in general to see, to just watch like a full manic episode transpire over the internet. The This is something that like we did not ever think we'd ever witness like literally five years ago. Like social media is just so insane that we can just watch someone's entire manic episode happen online. But furthermore, like... 
it being on the internet clearly is making things worse. Like a, half of the con half of the content in the videos that she's posting are like replying to people's comments. Now, a lot of the people commenting are like angry and saying like, this is like a horrible take. This is a horrible thing to say. Why are you saying this, Gabby? Which like rightfully so. Like mental health is not an excuse to be racist or transphobic or any other horrible thing that the human mind can come up with. Not an excuse. So like obviously people are, sorry, I just really spit when I said people. That was so disgusting. Um, <laughs> people are rightfully upset, but she's just replying to these comments and going on these insane like, like tangents about people just like simply being upset. Like, oh my God. I feel like my brain has like decreased in mass by 50% since like watching all of these. And I know you're probably thinking, Ben, you're in Berlin. Like go outside, go touch grass. And you're so right. Like what, like actually, why did I just watch 120 Gabby Hanna TikToks when I, when I'm on vacation, but that's that's my cross to bear. Um, I want to quickly talk about a tweet that I saw on Twitter that was very insightful, I guess we can say. Someone said, have you guys noticed how she does this every time she drops a book or an album? I was like, no, I didn't notice that. And then I looked at, you know, all the other times she's kind of been trending on Twitter, trending on whatever, you know, having her little, having a little moment on the internet. And almost all the time, it's because she has a song coming out. Sorry, I just kicked the luggage stand. Ew, you do not need to see my ankle like that. I just kicked the lug luggage stand that my iPad is sitting on. Um, also, I'm so sorry for the quality of this. I left all my recording stuff at home because I'm an idiot. Every single time, uh, not every single time, but almost every single time she publicly has a meltdown like this, she is promoting something, okay? This is like an age-old thing you see in the entertainment industry and in social media, you know, just causing a big stir before dropping something to, like, get attention. I don't know why people think, like, this is a, a legitimate way to promote, like, whatever thing you're coming out with. Like, hire a publicist, babes. Yes, they're like $4,000 a month. But I promise you, it is probably better for you and for everyone else than publicly having a breakdown online. Now, I'm not saying that she is solely, that, that she's like choosing to have this manic meltdown um, to like promote something. Like, I don't even think you can, like, I, you definitely probably can't choose to have a manic breakdown. I don't think Gabby Hanna's awake, so I'm just like, you know what? Today, today we're posting 120 TikToks and just, you know, calling out some races, seeing what happens. I don't think that's what's happening at all, but I think, you know, when celebrities or social media stars, like, create a stir like this, Sometimes they might think, oh, you know what? Let's drop something. For example, Kanye West, who unfortunately I, you know, love his music. I love his music. And we'll leave it at that. Um, specifically his Donda album that came out, what was it, this summer, last summer? I, I have no concept of time any, anymore. But he very famously went on like, some really insane Instagram rampages, uh, like just publicly smearing Kim Kardashian's new boyfriend, Pete Davidson. I guess I broke up now. Ex-boyfriend, Pete Davidson, smearing her, being like, I can't see my kids. My wife is holding my kids hostage, like saying all these crazy things. And then what happened like a month later? Dropped the, the, the Donda album and like some shoes. And then when he released his albums, actually, I, I'm not sure the timeline on this. I think it was when he was releasing his albums, like, Yay, and all his, like, good music albums that he was, like, producing stuff. And, like, Kids See Ghost, he went on his Twitter rampages, said he was running for president, all these things. 
So this is like not a Gabby Hanna exclusive concept. This is something that exists broadly. I can think of other examples, but you know, I think the picture has been painted. So <sighs> let's all just exhale real quick, like five seconds of just exhaling. <sighs> this is, it's just so sad to see this happen and sad to see how much attention it gets because really what what ha needs to happen is for her to get help. Now, in the 120 TikToks that she's posted, she's uh, people will be like, girl, you are a multimillionaire. You live in a mansion. You have the resources to get help, to get mental help for yourself. And she replied by going on like a little rant. She's like, I have resources. I have all the resources. And then like said something about God. I, I think my brain stopped working at that point. But sometimes people get to a point in, I don't know, in their mental health journey, I don't know what you want to call it, where, you know, they can't make decisions for themselves. That is why there's things called the Baker Act. I don't know what state it's called. And then like 5115, basically like involuntary help. Like someone who is concerned for you that's close to you can like call... I don't I actually don't know who they call it, to be completely honest with you, but like you can get help for another person if they are being irrational and like potentially a danger to themselves. I'm not sure if Gabby it's getting really dark in here. I don't understand why. I'm not sure if like Gabby Hanna is a danger to herself at the moment. Like, I mean, she has made TikTok screaming, help me, help me. So that says something, but you know, I, I there hasn't been, like, any, like, threats of, like, harm or anything. So, like, right now, all that she's posting is, like, very just manic, like, behavior. But it's mostly, so far, just words. Like, praise God, she doesn't actually, like, try and hurt herself or anything. Um, and I genuinely don't know, know what she's going to post next. Like, it, it seems like it's, like, getting worse and worse and worse. But... A frequent thing that people were commenting was like, like, so, like she needs to be fifty one fifty. I saw people like tagging, like past friends and stuff, like just hoping that like they could get someone from her social circle who maybe has her phone number or her address to like get her some help rather than like waiting around for her to get help. Because like the thing is with like manic episodes. People like like it's so hard to be objective when you're going through a manic episode because you you genuinely think you're being like enlightened and that you've found like some new like plane of existence and it's almost impossible for people going through these to just think, oh, I'm actually not well and I actually need some help. So it's sad. It really is sad to see. But Gabby Hanna, like, as a character on YouTube, like, has always... I really don't know when this, like, started. Like, I'm, I'm sure... Like, people with mental illness, like, obviously, it's something that you struggle with, like, for almost your whole life. I, I know sometimes it can, like, develop, like, in teenage years or, like, young adult years. But it's, like, I'm sure she's been dealing with this for a while, but... It's been really interesting to see how, like, she maybe at some point saw, like, oh, when I cause a stir on Twitter, when I trend on Twitter, when people are talking about me, it's a good time to promote my music or release an album, release a book. I, I, I genuinely don't know, like, what other ventures she's done, whatever, like, I'm not a stan, I really don't know, like, what she posts. Like, I remember she was, like, one of those OG YouTubers in, like, 2016. And you really don't see that many of those, like, YouTubers from that time that are, like, still around, like, posting regularly. Like, what do they say? Like, the average lifespan of, like, a YouTuber or something is, like, three years. So it's, like, for a lot of YouTubers, after you get past a certain, 
like, like say after you're past your prime and like you're craving more views or like you want that AdSense money, baby. Like you see a lot of YouTubers kind of create commotions to like bring back relevancy. Now that can be anything from say like a boxing match, like freaking, I don't know, the, the Paul brothers being like, you know what? I'm just going to start, I'm going to fight people to bring, sorry, I don't know. I'm like showcasing my feet so much. I need to put them dogs away. Uh, now I'm once again, not saying that Gabby Hanna is just like, Oh, time for a manic breakdown. But I do think it should be noted that there has to be some correlation between her having these public breakdowns or saying very controversial things to her releasing a song or music or a book. So it'll be really interesting to see like what she does after this, if she does use it, use it as an opportunity to promote something for financial gain or social media gain. I really hope not. I really hope this like episode ends because it is just genuinely disturbing. But, you know, I think it's kind of like showing a lot of people like not that this is like a teaching moment in any way. It's just a moment that needs to end in general. But like if if we're going to learn anything from this, like it's important to kind of like see what a person looks like when they need to have help brought to them. I had this friend who um was going through one of these in high school and she 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 went further. She said that she was going to harm herself and unalive herself. And so me and my friends called the police or the ambulance. That is who we called. Well, 911, which takes you to the ambulance. Like, okay, like this is me figuring out how 911 works. Anyways, or in Berlin, what is it called? Is it 011? I actually don't know what the emergency number is here, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> like if I fell down the stairs right now, I don't know who I would call Ghostbusters. Like it. So we called the ambulance on her to do a wellness check. They went to her house and this girl was, she she had been like 5150 before, like sent to the hospital because like she was clearly unwell. But this time she like managed to talk her way out of it. And it was really upsetting because like she was clearly in a manic episode, but like, threatening like to take her own life and all this like really alarming stuff and then she was like mad at us afterwards like genuinely mad at us would not talk to us afterwards for like weeks and months because she like did not she could not see that she needed help at that moment and it was really alarming because like it's so hard to get people help and like not just for like mental health issues, but it's so hard to get people to help themselves. Like sometimes like, thank gosh, we have like systems that allow you to like get someone else help if they are not capable of helping themselves. And listen, those systems are very flawed sometimes. Like you see people get gooned where like parents will just like call like the mental hospital on their freaking children because like for like literally no reason like they might not even like an example would be i know like i have this uh mutual who is trans and like their parents called like like had them 5150 and put in like a mental hospital like crazy crazy stuff like that can happen be like with those laws which is obviously horrible but like in general like i'm glad that hopefully ideally it can be used correctly and like potentially save someone's life because it's it's just genuinely so hard to get help for people that don't want to help themselves like it like to help a despondent person by yourself is probably like literally impossible especially if they're in like a state of mind where they can't see that they are unwell which is so scary like for so many mentally ill people, a lot of the time, like, they can't see that they're unwell. And uh, it's tricky. It really is tricky. So back to back to Gabby. 
you know, she she was so big in like all the YouTube circles. She like did so many collabs with like other YouTubers. And I really hope that she has like a circle of people around her that care about her and like are willing to get her help. Because like right now, it does not look like it. Like I would hope that if I for 24 hours posted 120 TikToks where I was clearly unwell and like manic, I would hope that one of my friends would get help for me like within that day. And I really hope that Gabby has people that will get her help. But I mean, it's once again, it's been 24 hours. Now, there was one person that I, I know when I was like reading all the different points she made, there was a person that uh, called the LAPD on her and they did do a wellness check. But keep in mind, this was just someone like commenting on one of her videos. So, like, I don't know the validity val validity of it. Um, but she said that LAPD came at 1.02 a.m. And they and she didn't come to the door. So they would send a car later, which I think is like very strange. Like if the person does not answer, like go in. I mean, I don't know how the police works. I don't know if you need like a search warrant or something, but like pretty sure that is a bad system. Anyways, I think a lot now I know I read all those points at the start. I think a lot of this is just like word salad, like, like so much of it was just unintelligible or she'd say something and then 10 seconds later immediately contradict herself. I truly don't know like what that stems from. Um, like if that's like an actual like part of whatever illnesses she has going on. Or, like, if it's just just talking for the sake of talking. Like, I, I, I don't know where that comes from. But, like, you, you saw that in uh, her claim about when she said that, like, black women are so strong and then said they are strong. By, and then, like, immediately following it up with, like, a horrible racial stereotype. Or saying that – or she – or her video where she was, like – all comforting to trans people and she said like trans people i care about you you are my babies and then like literally ended the video by saying trans people are confused and she was like hitting herself in the head while filming the video it was it was something um <sighs> like none like I, and i see people oh my god what oh what really drove me so mad was People were commenting, be like, yes, queen, this is so true. Like, agreeing with her, like, trying to, like, find some logic out of what she was saying. Like, there genuinely is no logic in, like, 90% of what she's saying right now. Like, I can we, like, I think we can all agree on that. You can go watch her videos, make your own judgment, but, like, ah, and there's my funny bone on this metal furnace. Like, it's not making sense. And I don't, I really don't understand. Like, I get that she still has fans. Like, I, I really don't know who was out here being a Gabby Hanna stan in 2022. Like, that's another level of dedication. You BTS fans think you're something? Uh-uh. The Gabby stans that are still watching all her content, that is... I say that, like, I didn't just watch 120 of her TikToks. Anyways. Like, people are just, like, blindly going along with what she's saying. And it's it's really, it's just really weird behavior. Like, I don't know if they just don't believe that she's unwell or are like genuinely like doing mental gymnastics to like put together something about like, like put together like some logic in her, in her little claims makes no sense to me. Um, and, and an another thing I wanted to point out is one reason why I think this could all be to like promote something is she is just like, making TikToks about, like, random, like, high-profile celebrities and YouTubers. So, like, she just randomly started ranting about Jenna Marbles. Um, and Jenna Marbles is, like, still huge, even though she, like, quit YouTube. Like, if you talk about Jenna Marbles and you're, like, a big YouTuber, like, you're going to get, like, freaking views. Or if you tweet about Jenna Marbles, like... And I don't know if she's, like, trying to, like, warrant a response or something or just, like, kind of, like, get attention from Jenna Marbles fans or something. I don't know. But she did that with Jenna Marbles. She did that with Billie Eilish. She, like, went on a rant about how um, uh, she said that, like, bad guy was, like, the work of God. And then she was just, like, was dancing around to it. Um, That is one thing that kind of leads me to believe that 
you know, she's doing this to kind of, like, stir as much attention towards her. Because, like, just name-dropping people after name-dropping people. And it, it doesn't even make sense. Like, she'll, like, talk about how she was, like, she died last night and was reborn as, like, God. And then, like, be like, bad guy was a great son. God was working through you when you made this song. Also, by the way, I know I keep saying she was, like, referring to God. I, I don't even think... Well, uh, this is a thing. Like, it's not, like, it's just not logical. But she's made videos, like, in the past 24 hours saying that, like, talking about baby Jesus, all this stuff. And then later saying, like, she doesn't actually mean God. She means, like, the simulation. You can't make sense out of it. And I don't think, like... It's just, it's it's really alarming to see people try and make sense of it and, like, feeding into this because all it's doing is, like, making her probably post more. <sighs> I, I really don't understand, like, why this content can, like, stay on TikTok. Like, it's been 24 hours and her account hasn't had, like, any type of freeze any type of, like, like, I don't know if it, like, actually violates any, like, TikTok guidelines or anything. I'm not, like, an expert in that. My videos get taken down all the time because I just, I'll, like, post, like, a freaking, like, there'll be a knife in my video and they'll be like, eh, bye. So, like, I don't know. I don't know if she's, like, actively violating any community guidelines. But, like, it doesn't take a genius to know that, like, maybe it's not good for her to have access to the internet right now and be so public about what she's going through. Not saying that mentally ill people should, like, suffer in silence, but this is not suffering in silence. This is, like, taking a bullhorn to a manic episode, which is benefiting no one. So, really hope she gets help. Really hope she stops posting on TikTok. Um, that's all I have to say for now. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I, I'm i sorry for the quality once again. I filmed a whole episode that wasn't about Gabby Hanna, but then um, literally I just forgot to record the audio. So that's really great. But thankfully my hotel literally has this corner of the room that's like exactly like my typical green screen background. So I'm like, ah! Um, I love you all so much. Uh, tweet me your drama using the hashtag drama mama podcast and i will read it on a future episode and with that all being said please stay safe please stay healthy i love you so much um follow my instagram and twitter at ben of the week and i'm gonna go walk around germany i love you all so much bye bye